the blessed uh, Monday morning, May the 3rd, 2000, in uh, 21, it's about 6.42 a.m., just wanted to let everybody know, me and my two youngest daughters, uh, we're about to enter uh, from out of Illinois, crossing the Illinois uh, Missouri Bridge here. Uh, this is the Mississippi River that we're going past. Up here, you'll see the sign saying the state of Missouri. We are now back into the state of Missouri. Uh, we thank everybody for the uh, hospitality. We thank everybody that's uh, been uh, on this mission with us. We thank everybody that's been on this mission with us uh, seeking justice for my son, Brian Lamar Johns. Uh, yeah, I know I need a shave, y'all. I know I need some rest. I know I need some sleep, but uh, had to come back to Missouri and take care of some business. want to let uh, my uh, Morse American brothers and my Muslim brothers and sisters and Morse American brothers and sisters and Christian brothers and sisters and all those that's uh, willing to help us and ain't trying to charge us any money uh, to help us get this justice. We want to thank y'all. Uh, I'm just... I don't know. I'm just tired, y'all. But, you know, like I said, uh, to me, it's a shame. You know, we... But it's, it, I ain't going to even say it's a shame. I, I've been in Charles, Missouri for 25 years. All my battles I've been fighting... I never had any organizations or any preachers or anything that stood and fought my battles with me. I done been in the federal courts twice, once in uh, Cape Garrido, Missouri, and once in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, suing for a racial discrimination here in uh, Charleston, Missouri. I have a case pending right now, me and my soon-to-be 14-year-old daughter, uh, against the Family Dollar Store at 601 South Main Street in uh, Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County. I think the store number is 9411, but we're going up against the corporation uh, for uh, racial uh, discrimination, uh, retaliation, and uh, uh, white female falsely accusing my then 13-year-old daughter of... Uh, of stealing, but you know the NAACP ain't helped uh, these organizations. If you seen back in last year, uh, for July they had a group of black people, uh, NAACP, some of the preachers and some of the other people in Charleston, Missouri, said that they had a thing about a Lincoln School uh, at 700 uh, Elm Street or 700 Cy William uh, uh, Street said it was Charleston for change. Then they had another one on Labor Day uh, in uh, September of 2020. Uh, same thing, Charleston for change. But you ain't seen a damn change in Charleston, not in the black community. But then uh, when the Family Dollar Store and some of the other stores wouldn't give them any money uh, to donate for the program that they was having for the Charleston for change, uh, they told people uh, to boycott the family dollar, but they can't boycott the damn store when they discriminate against my daughter. What did that tell y'all? They about money. You see what I'm saying? They ain't about no change. It's a change. It, 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 you right, change for Charles for change. You know what I mean? For those who was involved, Charles for change to put money in their pockets. But my thing is, y'all, I'm glad I got found some brothers and sisters or, or brothers and sisters that found me in uh, Carbondale, Illinois, and other places that's helping me fight these fights. 
And I don't mind helping them fight theirs. When I say fight these fights, I'm talking about like Frederick Douglass said, without a struggle, there'd be no progress. But one thing about Harriet Tuckman, if she was alive and well today, her spirit would tell these Negroes that calls they self-leaders in Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County. She said, I freed a thousand slaves if you Negroes have only knew uh, uh, I could have freed y'all if you only knew that you were slaves. They slaves. You see what I'm saying? They slaves to the masters that's running Charleston, Missouri, y'all. And that's not the only place that it's happening at. And the reason why I'm saying this here because one thing I want people to know around the globe, if you come down to Charleston, Missouri, do not hook up with the NAACP. Do not hook up with none of these churches, black or white, majority of them. You may have one or two, but the majority of them that's hooked up with all these churches that's hooked up with Susanna Wesley Family Learning Center, all these churches that's hooked up with these black folks that call themselves NAACP in Charleston, Missouri, I encourage you not to hook up with them. I encourage you not to put your children in the Charleston R1 School District, but that's up to you if you want to do it. I'm glad to be back, y'all. I know some of them not glad for me to be back, but I'm coming up to y'all. I'm coming back up into the uh, Mississippi County, Charleston, Missouri. Uh, it's been a while, y'all, but I just want y'all, let's, let's pray together. I'm talking about those of y'all that's not in mental slavery. Those of y'all that are not selling out the black community. Some people think you're racist when you talk about sell out blacks. You ain't racist. Malcolm knew what he was saying when he was talking about the house Negro. The house Negro, when the master is sick, the one who out here beating and raping our children, when the master is sick, the, the house Negro said, master, we sick. You see what I'm saying? When the doctor come through the field and ask the how a uh, field Negroes, which way to the house cause the master is sick. It was due east, but they tell him due west. And you know why. They want the master to go on here and meet his master. And some people don't like that. Oppressed people is tired. I'm tired. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to find out what happened to my son. You see what I'm saying? If I go to my dying uh, bed, I'm going to find out, y'all. Back here in Mississippi County, y'all. Good old boy system. Peace be still.